working today. For anything, we're checking our garden. <laughs> okay. But if we're going to talk about the hot mess that is our life, then I'm going to quest all day while I do it, because... This one, yeah, this is closer. But we did get some very interesting information from the lawyer that we spoke to. Who is a Utah lawyer. On that we are in contact with a lawyer, which is step one. But found out protective orders are valid across state lines. So the cops should have been doing something. Surprise, surprise. Hey, 
welcome in. How you doing? That's good. Good to hear it. We're doing pretty okay. We're tired today. Which, not unusual, because chronic fatigue sucks, but, you know. Gotta deal with the hand we've been dealt, so. Questing in Grizzleheim and talking about court stuff and lawyer stuff. Because we don't know how much it's going to cost yet. For the restraining order against the person who's been stalking and harassing us since 2021. It's been a whole thing. We've been to court like four times for it. We've talked to Wisconsin lawyers and now we're in contact with Utah lawyers because Utah is the state that that person resides in. It's it's not fine, but it we're we have to deal with it, so main thing is trying to reach affiliate, so hopefully we can make a few extra bucks for when we actually have to like do lawyer stuff. That is not going to be cheap. Where is the damn, um, teleporter thing? There it is. Another map. <sighs> it's it's just something. Hey, welcome in. How you doing? It's just something that we've kind of learned to deal with. Shame to have gotten lost, but grateful you found me. I'm pretty decent. I thank you for helping me find my way. Can I not get stuck on the corners? I am questing and talking about legal shit because that is. What our life has come to. Where am I going? How strange <laughs> that a child shall be me. I mean, maybe don't get lost left next time, and a child won't have to find you.
Thank you. The lawyers have been very helpful. Oof. Solo questing is difficult a lot of times. Luckily, we're at a decent level. We're level 34. <laughs> so, I think we'll be okay questing for now. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, fire dudes that are really annoying. It's over there. I've got the helmet hat thing. He's in the middle of that mess? Damn it. I have the boots and like the helmet. How am I gonna... I don't have the wand. Please tell me you got him. Damn it. Okay. This is fine. I've got a wand spear thingy that gives an extra power pip. Which is very helpful. Like, I don't know how I did anything without that before. Yeah, that's the one that I've got. Oh, damn. I hope that the new place is better for you. And I hope that the move goes smoothly. I know that moving can be super stressful. Okay. Hopefully it all goes well. <laughs> I know eventually we're gonna have to find our own place, but for right now the main focus is just... I'm sorry that your parents are divorced, but I'm glad that your dad is accepting and good. I know our main focus right now is just to get through all this court shit.
Okay, hopefully this will be fine. Okay, where's all the health? Please give. I'll just do that. I would like to fight the boss, please. Thank you. I know it'll be fine. We already sent the lawyer the info that he asked for. So now we're just waiting for a response. They got back to us pretty quickly over the phone. So we're hoping that it doesn't... Alright, same to you. We're hoping that it doesn't take too long for an email response. I don't think it'll take too long. But it will be really nice, because in Utah, where the person we have the restraining order against lives, violating a restraining order is a class A misdemeanor. And they take it very seriously there. So I think we will be just fine. I am wondering if the lawyer is going to ask for, like, what we have against the person, which would be fine. Especially because we already have it all organized. And in multiple places.
that's all good. No worries. I'm also pretty sure that the person we have a restraining order against is popping in and out of our stream. Which... Disappointed, but not surprised. Where's the damn teleporter? I'm sure, because it's not just you popping in and out, because you're only one person, and not like, three. Which, it's kind of funny because as soon as I called that out, the number drops back down. Like, it literally went from four to two. Hey, Soul, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the party where I'm shit-talking the person who's been harassing us. Yeah, about the same. Really, really tired. I agree, being alive is very good. That emoji thing looks so comfy. Oh, jeez, that was on stream. Was it? Anyway, hi! 
I don't know if the sound alerts are actually working or if that was just like in my head. I think we still need to fix that. I don't know. Did anyone else hear the sound alert thing? Ooh, four to one battles are rough. Okay, then we gotta fix the sound alert thing. I'm pretty sure Mari wrote a note on Antar saying that we need to. But I don't think anyone checks that. Which is an issue in itself. I know we tr I know someone tried fixing the chat overlay because it's not working so we have to use our phone to check chat most time. But I don't think it actually got fixed. That sounds like a nightmare, not a fun time. Spicy, it was you that I was trying to do that one quest with, right? The one with, like, the multi-thousand health bosses? I still haven't finished that quest. So if anyone wants to come and join us for that, that's something that I still need to do. Because that in itself is just a mess. Sweet, let me heal up. Let me get my potions back. Because it's a bitch of a quest. Sweet, we got the whole game. Spicy, you down? I should refill my potions anyway because I only have one left out of the three. If I was even slightly better at this game, then it wouldn't be such a pain. I hope you can. If I quit now, do I still get the stuff? No, I didn't! Damn it! Okay, we're playing this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice. It is all good. I only play them to refill potions. I don't want to spend whatever currency it is to get them refilled. When I can just play some funny little games and get them refilled. Yeah. Wait, is it gold or is it crowns that takes to refilling potions? Oh, damn. I thought it was crowns. Probably more entertaining for the stream to see me fail at a bunch of games anyway. Like, not stay in the same damn spot. Come on, dude, move. I just need to play enough. To refill this one potion. Like, halfway. Ah, damn it. Okay, cool. Give me a second because this takes forever. Okay, if you're gonna kill me, just do it. Okay. Sweet, what? Oh, right, I forgot we can teleport. Okay. Let me... Where am I going? Okay. I will head there. Pretty sure this is my last Crocotopia quest too.
I think me and Spicy tried it like three different times. I want to just quick check our TikTok because I'm sure. Okay, there's no new comments, no new followers. We're good. <laughs> Wait, are we waiting for Soul? Or, who are we waiting for? Okay. Spicy, are you here? I don't know who we're missing. Okay, Legend, you joining? Okay. I can't remember. You're are you an ice wizard? Okay. You're in the first spot, so they will probably target you the most. Oh, well that was rude of them.
Well, damn, that sucked. That works. I wish it just like didn't give the buffs if they all die. I know this isn't gonna kill him, but like... Oh, thank you. That helps. I had none. My hand just sucks this round. Did he just sacrifice one of his buddies to heal himself? Oh my god! <laughs> At least with the spell that the fire school has, you only sacrifice yourself to do more damage. You don't try and murder one of your buddies to 
heal yourself. Nice. I think I remember the order of this. Because I don't want to fight this dude if we don't have to. Okay. Is that one? Who's that one? That one. And then I think that one. While tuning the spirit, you have orchestrated the test beautifully. Okay. Enter the temple. Wolves on your guard! Ready the defenses. Master Tonkatsu must not be disturbed. Show the wizard no mercy. I do a lot of side quests. I think I've done all of them. In the first few worlds. I've done the one for I've done the side quest for Wizard City, Krakatopia. I know Grizzleheim I've done. I think Wisteria. And I'm working on the ones for Marleybone. But questing is the fastest way to level up. Plus, with side quests, you can unlock a bunch of new stuff. Thank you. I will say, I think that spell is one of my favorites. That's fair. I don't think I would be able to even do the main quests, even attempted solo, if I didn't do side quests.
I could not. Oh damn, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> It was! <laughs> okay, I've got meteors if you've got a wildfire. Thanks for joining! Have a good one! There's a meme? I feel old. I feel really old. But to be fair, I'm decently older than most people in the system. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. I really don't think I have. I'm I'm coming up with nothing. Maybe I should look it up after stream. I remember getting that spell and immediately going to Unicorn Way to test it out. So it was me against this dumb, like, 55 health ghost. It was just, like, 600 damage. Oh, now it gives me it. So fancy. I love those spells just because they look pretty. That's literally the only reason I like them. Why would you- Fuck you, dude! That was so rude.
Who looked at the Cyclops and said, you know what we need? The Cyclops, but a death version. Who said that? Oh, damn. That was a lot of damage, and I didn't mean that as the meme because I don't know what the meme is. Are you sure, Soul? Are you sure, Soul? Are you sure you do you weren't the one who said you know we need a death cyclops? <laughs> I think that you specifically said that. Damn, I almost died. That would have been bad. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I think you just have that much power because they looked at you and they said, you know what? We need someone really fucking cool to decide this. Oh yeah, and if you two really want to be entertained, I could play the four voicemails that the person stalking and harassing us sent us. There's four of them from three different phone numbers. <laughs> God. So yeah, they sent us four voicemails using three different phone numbers. Because after we blocked the first one, they used their dad's phone number and then we blocked that one and then they used another phone number oh that's not even the worst of it that's only phone numbers that isn't like tiktoks or like deviantart accounts That one is only phone numbers. They've made a total of like, I want to say last time we counted it was like 60 DeviantArt accounts, like six zero. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, this is what killed me last time. Oh, that one sucked.
Oh, same. I have none of my healing spells. Oh, you are the best. <laughs> I've got this one that I can use. Here. I have like a very, very small healing spell that also does damage. Thanks, Sol. <laughs> I agree with that. This boss is a douche you know. I think the furthest I got with this one was I killed one of the bulls. Oh boy. Thank you. Yeah, you got you only needed seventeen or whatever. Mine isn't even full, but we are going to do this, and we are going to kill off the Ice Bowl, because I hate them. Oh, fuck you and your fucking healing. Oh my god. And back down to 400 health. That sucked. Oh, fuck you. Am. Oh, sweet! That's the. We don't get the stupid uh, cheat anymore. I'm determined to kill off this dumb ice bowl, and I don't care care if it kills me. I got my eyes set on it, so I'm doing it, and that's that. Hi, welcome in. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Me too. The name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Oh shit, you gave me a healing spell, thank you. Oh fuck you and your fucking accuracy bullshit. Oh 
honestly. Oh, well, I'm glad to have you here. Fuck you and your accuracy bullshit. <laughs> Nah, I believe you, don't worry. Dumb. <laughs> I am I wrong though. Soul, you can't say that I'm wrong because Hmm. We've been chilling. Nah, I'm... Wait, did you... meet Mari or did you meet Cory? Okay. And hi, I'm Eras. I'm the co-host. Well, one of them. For now. I don't know if there's another, actually. <laughs> Soul. What did that spell even do that they were trying to do? I don't get it. Okay, hi. Nice to meet you. I don't... I don't think you met me then. Okay, then hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Why do they only stun you, Soul? <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me, if Cap Balder Goldpaws in an old town can help you. Young wizard, I have an offer you can't refuse. Come see me in old town. I mean, if they weren't scared of you, that would be more of a concern, I think. No, I think we're good for now. I think I just leveled up. Yeah, level 25... 35. Ugh. Cannot speak. Too dumb. Oh yeah, you've got that chocolate fountain thingy. I'm going back to Grizzleheim to apparently learn a new spell. And I could play the voicemails for you guys if you want, because... Okay, where is he? But you have a quest for me! But, but you have a thing for me. Is it this one? But he's the same bear. <laughs> he is. And then he's making me go there anyway. <laughs> Oh damn, that's a lot of houses. How many houses can one wizard have? Can you have multiple? Like, 
on one wizard. Because I want multiple. Okay. Is there a limit or can you just get like one of each? Oh, damn, eight. Welcome. I am a seeker of knowledge. I do modest. Oh, this is another stupid dungeon, isn't it? But yeah, the voicemails are funny now. But... They're really fucked up. I know we played them on a stream that Mav did. I remember doing, yeah, I remember doing that stream as Mav. <laughs> yeah, for some reason. Okay, this will probably be... Nope. We can just walk because I don't feel like fucking around with the teleporters right now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of amazing though. Just tell me where it wants me to go, jeez.
get all of these because I want them, not because I need them. Steal my spear. You will not live to see the dawn. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it was kind of funny the other day because the person who's been harassing us posted us on a subreddit called Fake Disorder Cringe. Multiple times. We only found out about it because one of our followers saw us on there because the person who's been harassing and stalking us didn't cross out our username when they posted us there. If they had, like, crossed out our username, we never would have found out about it. So it was literally them being really stupid that caused us to find out in the first place. It It is. Their first post about us on there was like... I want to say half a year ago. They definitely are not. But the moderators of that subreddit... We contacted the moderators of the subreddit and got all posts about us taken down. We sent them the restraining order, like the public court order that's online. And now we won't be posted there anymore. We even straight up offered to show them proof of our diagnosis. They didn't want it, so... But, like, a person who's been stalking and harassing us since 2021 posted some art on there that one of the hosts of one of our subsystems had made. 
and post it to DeviantArt and put as watchers only. So that in itself is proof that they've been still stalking our accounts. And a lot of people were not on their side with them posting us because they had said on there that they have people watching us in other servers and they have like little spies on us. So a lot of people in there were like, okay, yeah, now I see why they need the restraining order on you. Because you're a fucking nutso. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah, it's just, it's... Like, you can't claim to not be harassing someone while also posting them on a subreddit literally for fake claiming people. They just really need a hobby? I know some people have suggested crochet. They need to start learning how to crochet. Nah, that's okay, because we're already dealing with lawyers and stuff. So we've got it handled. But if you're in the chat... Comment what hobbies our stalker should try out. And if you're watching this on YouTube, write in the comments below what hobbies they should try out. Fishing, I like that. Fishing, but not fishing for compliments or validation like they usually do. Like actual fishing, you know, with like fish. You know, I don't know if they even know what fish are. Now that I think about it, I don't know if they know what those are. But if they're watching this, which I know that they probably will, I will describe fish to you because I think that fishing would be a hobby that you could try. So fish are like the, these animals that live in like water and the ocean. And they breathe underwater and have gills. Poetry. Maybe not the type of poetry that they've written where they've threatened to hire a hitman on us though. Maybe something more positive. Ooh, flipping burgers would be good. Because usually they only flip out. They don't flip anything. They just flip their shit.
But I think... I think they can learn how to flip things besides flipping their shit. I believe in them. They can learn. Technically... They are female, but they use they, them pronouns. Where the hell am I? I don't want to get caught in this. I don't even know if we can really say that we hate them. We just feel bad for them. I don't think you would want to be anywhere near them. <laughs> Why? I knew that would happen eventually. Thank you. I've got a meteor after you do that. And that should hopefully be enough. Yeah, maybe they could try sports. That seems like a good... Good way to get out some aggression without... You know, hurting anyone. <laughs> that too. <laughs> All that I can think of with that one is the other mother from Coraline. I mean, if the shoe fits. Thank you. Okay. Now let's not get pulled into dumb stuff again. Because that was dumb. And actually, before I do this, I want to play the voicemails because I think they're funny. That's fair. Let's see.
So just a warning in advance about these. We technically don't even have like a set lawyer hired yet. We've just been speaking to them about getting the restraining order transferred to Utah. And we've already played these on stream before. They're ours to share. They were this... This person was the one who sent them, so if they didn't want us sharing them, then they would, they shouldn't have sent them in the first place. But I'm going to give a warning for these voicemails because they are threatening and have a lot of swears. I swear a lot, but they, these are like, yeah. It, they just contain some very, very, very disturbing and fucked up things. So if you don't want to hear that, I will put up this as a sign that they're over. This is the sign that they're starting and then I'll put it up again when it's over. So if you don't want to listen, just mute. You know what, Drew? Maybe if you didn't fucking manipulate. Maybe if you weren't such a fucking piece of shit. Oh, but you never think about that, do you? Because I always matter more than you, right? And that somehow isn't toxic, manipulative, or gaslighting. Yeah, okay. You are the one guilt tripping. You are the one being piece of fucking shit. You want to hear a guilt trip? Okay, here's the guilt trip. I cut because of you. I killed myself because of you. Yeah, that's a guilt trick, bitch. So maybe if you'd open your goddamn eyes, use your fucking ears, and use that fucking brain of yours, if you still have one, even, then maybe you see that what you're doing is fucking toxic as hell. You need to fucking stop. I cannot speak to you about shit because you are rotten and toxic about it. I cannot speak about shit without you guilt tripping and gaslighting and manipulating and being a toxic little fuck. I cannot tell you shit because you are rotten about it. All of it. Apparently, you can be hurt by everything, but no one else can be hurt. Everyone but you can make mistakes. Huh? Right? Like, why only you can make a mistake? Okay, bitch. Like, get out of this fucking fucked hard mentality. Fucking narcissist looking ass. Me, me, me. Only me. I matter. Oh, but you've always mattered more than me. And then you say this shit, and then you expect me not to, like, give it back at you don't dish out what you can't fucking take all right and then you try to reel people back in by manipulating them even more because you feed off of them because you're fucking pathetic and all you do is fucking feed off your manipulation with i love you and i care about you ah bitch so that was the first one this one is the second one Yeah, so everyone I've talked about, about you, Drew, says I should fucking drop you. But give me one reason why I shouldn't fucking drop your manipulative ass. Tell me why. Give me one good fucking reason why I can drop your fucking ass right now. You only stick around because you feed off of fucking manipulation. Because you are a fucking snake. You are worse than a leech. So that one was the second one. And then the third one. I know what you're doing, you little manipulative fucking snake. You think I don't have logs of everything you fucking said? Oh, I have screenshots. No, you don't. I have the full logs. In fact, some of the people you've tricked and lied to already, I've given them the full logs, and they're calling you an abuser. Fucking stop. I will fucking contact shit, and I will say you're fucking harassing because you fucking are spreading lies and shit. You're just so fucking obsessed, aren't you, little fucking whore? They really do. The first two were sent on the same day. 
And then the third one that was just played was sent the day after. And then this one, which it has our old phone number in it. We had to change our phone number after this because they posted our phone number multiple times, actually. And our address multiple times. They posted a lot of personal information about us online. But this is not our phone number anymore. We had to get it changed. So that is why we're fine sharing this voicemail. But this one came from a completely different phone number. And that one was... It must have been December 1st, 2021. Please cease and desist contact and harassment. Dispatch from the victim's area may not have jurisdiction to press charges, but Milwaukee Dispatch sure do. Step down from the situation and halt. Do not attempt to hide evidence any further. Kira Granitella, age 21, dot March 25th, 2000. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 414-704-9889, assigned female at birth. Was admitted to Rogers Behavioral Health the 2nd of September, 2021. Lured your victim in by trying to relate yourself to them. Track your victim by attempting to separate them from their friends, including gaslighting the matter of things. Pressured your victim into sending nudes because you knew they had an intense fear of abandonment and had issues saying no due to said fear. You have used things your victim trusted you with against them. You have taken their weaknesses and vulnerabilities and lunged yourself at them ruthlessly and ceaselessly. You have also recently sexually harassed some people, despite them setting clear boundaries with you. They made multiple attempts to tell you to back down which you did not. On top of all of this, you have stalked and harassed this person through their private Facebook accounts. You have attempted to contact and harass their family members via Facebook. Please cease and desist contact and harassment. Yeah, so that one was the fourth one, which is, first of all, full of lies. We have never, we've never sexually assaulted anyone, especially not the people that they are claiming we have. Never pressured anyone into anything. And also not to mention that in that fourth voicemail, they are acting as if they are with the police in the state that we reside in, in a city that we used to live in. Okay, voicemails are over. Okay. So yeah. The first, honestly, I warned you to leave. Now you will pay me the price. And like the first two voicemails were sent from the same phone number. The third voicemail, which was sent a day later, was sent from a different phone number because we blocked that first one. And then that fourth voicemail was sent from one, which we later found out with the help of a friend that it was a fake phone number, first of all, that was written to make it look like it came from our state. So yeah, 
Those were the voicemails. Definitely. Very messed up. Unfortunately, they will never admit that that's messed up. It is what it is. It's It started September 14th of 2021. And it's been going on pretty consistently since then. Yeah. Oh yeah, so like three phone numbers, they emailed us once from a throwaway, with threats. Um, they wrote a really threatening YouTube comment once, which YouTube took down immediately. They didn't even let it post because it was so fucked up. Which I'm pretty sure we still have the email for. So, like, we have proof that it happened. And then all of the DeviantArt accounts, which we've blocked so many at this point, it's ridiculous. And new ones pop up every day. And a lot of them have names with trigger warning for mentions of unaliving. A lot of them have names like you will die in 2026. Go KYS. No one loves you. Shit like that. We still have the... We still have the screenshots from when they messaged us on TikTok pretending to be someone else and saying that, again, trigger warning for mentions of unaliving, saying that they were moving to our state in five years after the restraining order is out with their armed boyfriend who apparently hates us 
and that we have five years to either off ourselves or we would die. Yeah. Like, I don't care who you are or what people have done to you or what you think people have done to you. None of that is okay. Where's the... Oh, thank you for that. And yeah, it's I hope that the Grendel treats fairly the king of the wolves the root. Yeah, it's it's yeah. It's really messed up. We hope that maybe one day they will learn how to get help. We set fire to the shelves. The fire is too small to hurt anyone, but will cause the necessary destruction. But, like, no matter what you've been through, it's never okay to threaten people like that. Who goes there? Not you. You're not going anywhere. Thank you. We do really appreciate that. I'm just glad that I have a hell of a lot easier time talking about it than Mav did. Damn, you have a lot of connections. Oh, thank you. 
it's good to have that tobacco slip, even though I don't think we'll need that. I think we'll be pretty good with the lawyer that we've been talking to. I'm a little bit shaky and triggered, but it's okay. You pull on the lever and you hear a click. Thank you, soul. You guys are all so sweet. I think I'm gonna refill my potions again before doing any of that. It would be great if you could, like, not hit us. Or not hit me. I get nervous if my potions aren't all filled all the time. I think I'm okay right now. Cause I don't know how hard the dungeon's gonna be. Or how hard the thing is gonna be. I don't know what to call it. If it's not a dungeon, what is it? Boss battle, okay. But wouldn't a boss battle be like something like the Kraken?
don't know. We should come up with like a different name. I believe I won that one. Okay, that should do it. I know I should probably set my location somewhere else, but having the old town one is so convenient. Okay, but I don't have a tail. I know what you meant, but I read that as you typed it. <laughs> Before I do anything else... I want to keep that and put it on my wall.
you see, my wolf allies? It is as I said. The bears are in league with the Red Claw. They have sent their spy to destroy us all. Stop them. Tear them apart. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, screw you. Want this before I do it. Stunned, you throw the dust. Do not wish to reveal my lie, but I can see one of the ravens took Ivar's shape, and my ravens have pitted bear against bear. The ravens lied to us. You must. No, I did no wrong. You lots of drama.
rescue the your fame will my people are deep in debt to you. You have earned a rest. Okay, I guess that's done. I was wondering what you meant by that. Okay, well, I've been streaming for like two hours. I'm tired. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching and for joining. And go do some self-care. And yeah. Thank you for watching and bye.